Okay, that's an E180. This is a D170. And this is a tube I pulled off another motor, and I'll show you the motor in a second. But this is a failure. I had one fail, and that's what this video is about. Okay, this right there is a port where that tube goes in. This is a Briggs & Stratton motor. Ladies, I'm going to feed you tomorrow morning. That's Cool Cow right in front. You can see the white and the black on her. Yeah, sweethearts. And there's more cows over there with the tractor and the excavator. But tomorrow, you can see the leaves falling. I'm going to feed them. Okay. In this video, I'm going to show you what saved us from a catastrophic engine failure. You saw on the E180, the E180, you would have seen a D180. They're 54 inch John Deere cutters. I had a 190C and I got an engine from it. But here is the uh, failure. It was leaking oil on the left side. Stand by. But it appeared I tightened up this tube. I forget what the size of the wrench was. And uh, the leak went away for a while. Then it came back and I noticed that a lot of oil had evacuated the uh, unit. And I noticed that this was loose. Now I'm going to move this right here. Okay, you see that right there? Okay, the tube uh, cracked. This is a John Deere part right here. And uh, it's John Deere. It's not Briggs & Stratton because Briggs & Stratton puts a plug in there. That should just be a plug. But to extend it far enough out to drain the oil in a series of V-twin engines, they came up with this solution plus just a filter with oil in it nonsense and the likewise just stuff to sell John Deere parts maybe. But that was actually the failure and as you can see that broke and so this was sitting in loosely and oil would leak out through the cracks and go on down and uh, around and out. So once I removed it looking in you could see this part with of course oil coming out of it and I'm thinking darn that's not right because you saw the aluminum you saw the aluminum block and this piece in so what I did is I uh, let all the oil drain out went into the store to tractor supply I grabbed uh, this piece here I think if you look real close it should say 209 24 95 from memory and this is uh, something barn, and I'll put a link to it. Uh, easy out system. It comes with uh, 12 pieces, it said. Or it says. Has a cover uh, that covers this, but it's 12 piece and it's left handed thread. So it digs in as this screw would come out. So what I did is I installed the largest one like so and using a wrench this is a 12 millimeter that would fit I slowly backed it out as it dug in and then I installed not this one this one's going to go in the engine I pulled it from but from a spare engine okay so that's it we avoided a catastrophic error and this cost uh, $6.99 less than a value meal at McDonald's lately Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video.